What is up, YouTube? It's your boy, B-Boy Snatch on TV. Welcome back to the channel. And tonight, I'm coming at you guys with another video for WWE Raw Review on Highlight. So if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys please hit that, like, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel for more wrestling content like this. I'm, I'm only one away from 6K. Go check out my WWE SummerSlam Review on Highlights that I posted, I posted that video yesterday, and it's doing well. And continue to watch that video, and let's get started. Now, WWE Raw was a fantastic W show, 10 out of 10. And that's all I have to say. All right, Monday Night Raw was live in Baltimore, Maryland, Bank Arena. And that's all I have to say. The commentary was Michael Cohen, Pat McAfee. It says, then, now, forever together. The WWE video leads us into the show. Oh, Triple H was cooking tonight. It says, video highlights of the major events from SummerSlam 2024. So we get the pre-show arrivals. Women's World Champion Liv Morgan is showing arriving in with her new view, dirty Dominic Mysterio. Former champion Damian Priest is also in the building. New WWE Intercontinental Champion Braun Breaker is showing arriving. Drew McIntyre, who was visually over CM Punk at SummerSlam, is showing arriving with a big smile on his face and CM Punk's uh, CM Punk's bracelet on his wrist. Um, it says, so we get the World Heavyweight Championship, Gunther addresses his victory. This was a good segment right here. Louis Kaiser is in the ring, back from injury. Louis Kaiser demands all gratitude for the new World Heavyweight Champion, the ring, General Gunther. World Heavyweight Champion Gunther dresses in a suit, makes his way to the ring. He gets in the ring and embraces Louis Kaiser before posing with protectness behind him. The crowd is giving him a mixed reaction, but the booze begin to take over. Gunther smiles. The crowd then starts to chant, You deserve it. Gunther says, My name is Gunther. I'm the ring general. I am the longest reign intercontinental champion in history. I, I am the king of the ring, and now I'm your world heavyweight champion. That all right, all right. Um, Gunther is the it, Gunther is that guy, and that's all I gotta say. And I called it straight down the middle that Gunther was going to beat Damian Priest at SummerSlam last night, and I called it straight down the middle. All right, let me continue. Tonight, a new legacy begins. This this title and company have deserved more for a very long time. If they thought what he did with the Intercontinental Championship was historic, wait until you see what he does as the World Heavyweight Champion in this ring. He is above everyone. He is he is ready to ready and prepare for everyone and everything. There there is nothing that that can catch him off guard. He is greatest. He is greatness personified. Um, from this day forth, Monday Night Raw and the legacy of this great business and sports, as well as the World Heavyweight Champion, belongs to him. Here comes, I hear voices in my head. Randy Orton. Now, I didn't expect this. I, I wasn't expecting Randy Orton. All right. The Viper Randy Orton's music hits, and he heads to the ring. The crowd loudly sings his music as he enters. Gunther defeated Randy Orton in the finals of the King of the Ring tournament in, in a controversial finish with Orton's shoulder up during the pin to win the opportunity at the World Heavyweight Championship at SummerSlam. And loudly, Randy Orton chant fires up. All right, Gunther looks. Um, yeah, Gunther looks at Randy. Yeah, Gunther looks at Randy Orton and says, "Well, Randy, I have to say that I was wrong because that caught me off guard." The crowd laughs. Orton, Randy Orton says he wanted to come out and congratulate him, but that's not his style. That title does look good hanging over his shoulder. Randy Orton says Gunther is a good, good-looking champion, but he can't help but think he think he's the reason Gunther is holding the title in the first place. Gunther got his title shot at SummerSlam because he beat Randy Orton at King of the Ring, but did, but did, but did Gunther really beat him? With the question mark, the crowd gaps, the the per the people know it. Randy Orton knows it, and even Triple H knows it. Randy Orton's shoulder weren't flat on the mat for the pinfall. It's the referee's decision, and it's final. Randy Orton has to respect that fact. Triple H saw the footage and knows there there's there needs to be a Gunther versus Randy Orton sequel. Triple H holds the world 
host the world that there will be a part two. That that's exactly why Randy Orton is here. Randy Orton is calling it calling it in. Randy Orton is is the only man who can match Gunther in the ring, move for move, chop for chop. Yeah. What was I? Chop for chop. Counter for counter. Technician versus technician. Smooth versus smoother. These fans deserve a modern day Flair versus uh, versus Steamboat. Randy Orton knows he can fulfill those roles. The only question is for Gunther can. Gunther calls himself a living legend, which is fine. Randy Orton made a career out of killing legends. At Bash, at Bash in Berlin, he he'll do he'll do it again and walk out of Germany. Gunther Gunther's home country, the new world heavyweight champion. Another Randy Orton chant fires up as Gunther contem- contemplates this. Gunther says everything Orton said is true. Not beating Randy Orton clean at King of the Ring left a stain on his record. Um, if those voices and what Randy Orton said tells him that he can't beat Gunther in Berlin, he he has to tell Randy Orton that the voices are wrong. Gunther says Randy Orton an RKO chant interrupt. Inter- interrupts him. I accept. Gunther extends his hand and Randy Orton shakes, shakes it. Um, Gunther pulls Randy Orton in, in close and says absolutely nothing catch him off, off guard. Randy Orton says he's here. He, he heard that before. Randy Orton doesn't want to hit him with an RKO out of nowhere. He wants Gunther to see it coming. Randy Orton walks off and, as his music plays. Um. All right. This is that was a very good segment by Randy Orton and Gunther. It says the commentators discuss the first hour of Raw being commercial free. They then run down everything we'll see. We'll be seeing tonight, including a look back at Roman Reigns returning as at SummerSlam and the Rise Six in ring debut. We see an overhead shot of the city of Baltimore, Maryland. So we we'll go to Gorilla pres- position. Jackie Redman is in a gorilla position with the Celtic warrior Sheamus. She mentions that Sheamus has a gro- growing list of people who want a piece of him, including Louis Kaiser. Louis Kaiser is, sa- is saying he was injured b- because of Sheamus. Sheamus says the human candle, hu- human candle has gotten himself clear and demanded a match, a- gotten a match tonight. Seamus has his sights set on Pete Dunne. Don't call me Butch. Pete Dunne after what he did last week, but he but what can you do? All these ups and all these ups and coming cats want to make a name for him, na- mix the name off of him. Seamus says, bring them on tonight. He'll take he he tests out Louis Kaiser's fragile ribs and then pull Pete Dunne on the show. On the shelf, Seamus asks Baltimore if they're ready for a banger. They are. So we get Louis Kaiser versus Seamus. This this was a good match right here. Louis Kaiser attacks Seamus at the foot of the ramp and makes his entrance. Seamus quickly sends him into the barricade, but Kaiser quickly fights back. Kaiser punches away at him before Seamus turns him around and punches him down. Seamus gets Louis Kaiser in the ring and. Takes, takes his shirt off. The Sheamus gets in the ring and they battle to the battle to the corner before Sheamus punches put punches him down. The bell rings to start the match. Kaiser punches punches an uppercut Sheamus, but Sheamus responds with an uppercut that floors him. Sheamus sends him into the ropes, but he lowers his head and eats a kick. Kaiser, Louis Kaiser charges him in the corner, but Sheamus goes for a boot. But Louis Kaiser blocks it. Louis Kaiser eventually chops and forearms the chest. Seamus smiles and turns Louis Kaiser around before clubbing away at the chest to make him down, to take him down. The crowd is very into Seamus tonight. Louis Kaiser kicks Seamus. It says, yeah, it says Louis, what else? It says Louis Kaiser kicks Seamus in the knee. Seamus took the bump before the knee was even kicked. Seamus soon blocks an attack and punches away at the midsection. 
Sheamus puts Kaiser on his shoulders and hits a roll in the same time. Sheamus heads to the top row, but Kaiser rolls out of the ring. Kaiser calls for a referee, Eddie or Oringo, and motions that his ribs are injured. The referee holds Sheamus back. Louis Kaiser then blindsides Sheamus with a forearm to the face, showing that he was faking the injury. Louis Kaiser attacks him against the steel steps, um, steel steps before getting in the ring. Louis Kaiser exits on the the opposite side, the op, the opposite side, and runs around the ring before drop kicking Sheamus into the steps. All right, Louis Kaiser gets in the ring and looks for a count out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Sheamus starts to get up. Eight, nine. Sheamus gets in the ring. Louis Kaiser attacks Sheamus in the corner and digs his knee into his face. Into his face. Sheamus is is looking dazed. Kaiser kicks him in the ribs and and ribs and ribs at the face before elbowing him in the in the head. Sheamus fights back with a right hand to the midsection, but Kaiser cuts him off with a throat thirst. Kaiser draw kicks him down and tackles him into the ropes. Falling out of the ring, Sheamus is hung up on the bottom rope, and Kaiser takes it to him. Kaiser has a has a psychotic look on his face and taunts the crowd. Sheamus rolls across the ring and into the apron. Kaiser pulls the hair and sets up for the 10 beats of the bottom. Um, Sheamus quickly blocks it after only a few shots and, hit, and hits a short arm clothesline from the apron. The crowd chants, let's go. Sheamus, let, the crowd chants, let's go, Sheamus. Kaiser kicks Sheamus' knee out as he gets in the ring and picks up a two count. Kaiser talks trash to Sheamus and slaps him in the face. Kaiser talks trash to him. And slaps, him, and slaps him again. Kaiser continues to take it to Sheamus before Sheamus gets fired up. Sheamus blocks a slap and punches away at Kaiser. Um, Sheamus has a has a whip reverse, but he runs through a clothesline and connects with a hammer throw. Um, Sheamus follows up with a clothesline before hitting a corner a corner clothesline. Sheamus com- completes the run with an Irish curse backbreaker. Sheamus sets up for a Celtic Celtic cross, but Fluid Kaiser slides off and slaps him in the face. Kaiser elbows him in the neck before Sheamus triggers back with white noise for a near fall. Sheamus punches him down and applies the clover 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 leaf submission. Fluid Kaiser yells in pain, but he managed to make it to the bottom rope. Sheamus then grabs Kaiser. For the ten beats of the battering, but but Kaiser counters by stop snapping him off the off the top rope. Louis Kaiser hits Sheamus with a stiff disgust clothesline for a two count. Another let's go Sheamus champ fires up. Sheamus and Louis Kaiser go face to face and exchange stiff slaps to the face while they wildly brawl before Sheamus hits a short arm clothesline. Sheamus sends. Come over the top rope and has him on the apron for the 10 beats of the bottom. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Kaiser falls to the, falls to the ringside mat. Sheamus goes to the floor. Sheamus go, you say Sheamus, it says at ringside. Sheamus goes to the top rope and flies off with a dive in close on to the floor. Sheamus gets Kaiser in the ring and sidesteps the select. Sides to say Shalaya attacks from Pete Dunn. Sheamus avoids another attack from Pete Dunn and hits a, bo- a bo- bicycle knee in a jaw to lay him out. Sheamus g- gets in the ring and Kaiser floors him with a step up in security for a near fall. Kaiser flips out that fl- flips out that he couldn't pull push Sheamus away. The uh, push push Sheamus away. There's Kaiser grabs Sheamus, but Sheamus fights out and hits a bicycle knee. Bicycle knee to the jaw. Sheamus Im- immediately follows up with a bro- with a vicious bro kick for the win. The winner of the the winner by pinfall, Sheamus. This was a good match between Sheamus and Louis Kaiser. All right, Sheamus jumps into the crowd and celebrates. Pete Dunne is not happy. 
It said, what, what a phenomenal match with Sheamus and Louis Kaiser. Amazing physicality. It's amazing having Sheamus on WWE Raw and having bangers with with, with guys like Louis Kaiser, Pete Dunne, and Bronson Reed. All right, let's move on. Roman Reigns returns at, at WWE SummerSlam has resulted in 100, 100 million views across uh, across all of social social media. Michael Cole mentions the original Ryan family debut in Baltimore in 2023. It has come full circle with the Ryan Six in the ring in the ring debut tonight. All right. So we get a video package: the history of the Ryan family and the Ryan Six. That was a good video package right there. Pre-show arrivals. Chad Gable and the Creed Brothers are showing arriving in Baltimore earlier today. They'll face the Riot Six later tonight. WWE congratulates Terrence Crossroads of Boston fame and showing a picture of him celebrating with Eminem. Alright. So we get Damian Priest calls out Finn Balor. Good segment, too. So we get video package. The major headlines coming out of SummerSlam except for Except, especially the impulsion of the Judgment Day. So the Judgment Day are done. So it says, all rise. Damien Priest charged, in, charged to the ring and is furious. Damien Priest calls out Finn Balor and demands he comes to the ring to take this beating like a man. Finn Balor doesn't answer, answer the call. All right. It says, yeah, where was I? It says, um, Damien Priest charged to the ring and is and is and is furious. Damien Priest calls out Finn Balor and demands he comes to the ring to take this being like a man. But Finn Balor doesn't answer the call. That that part I was at right there. But anyway, Damien Priest asks how he how's he goes from the prince to a backstabbing scumbag to a coward. Finn Balor knows where Damien Priest is from from in his story. For most of his life. He has been on his own until he found the Judgment Day. They gave him a reason to fight in, in a feeling of belonging. After the premiere of his document and hearing what he means to people, as well as the people here, he realized his family is a whole lot bigger. Damien Priest wants to introduce Finn Balor to his new family and, and announces the crowd who gives him a huge ovation. Damien Priest isn't upset that he lost the World Heavyweight Champion because he can't win it back, which is facts by, facts by Damien Priest. Damien Priest is pissed off because Finn Balor took the title from all of them. Finn Balor made him feel like he, he disappointed his family. For someone like Damien Priest, he can't let the stand. Let the stand. Um, Damien Priest tells Finn Balor to listen closely when he is suffering. Um, Finn Balor should know he is the reason for the pain. Damien Priest tells Finn Balor to get out here and let and let and let the beating begin. From I'm, I'm sorry, Finn Balor appears on the Tiger Tron. Finn Balor is in the dark with all with only a dark purple light on his face. Finn Balor says Damien Priest brought his brought this on himself. Finn Balor didn't betray Damien Priest. Damien Priest betrayed the Judgment Day. Uh, they were supposed to have each other's backs. No, no leader, but that, that, but that's all changed with when Damien Priest became champion. Damien Priest went back on, on his word, on his wor- world a year ago. Finn Balor almost, Finn Balor almost became the champion. What was it? Damien Priest said in the car. And to the console of him, Damien Priest told him to man up. Finn Balor waited and waited a full year before making before manning before manning up. Finn Balor screwed Damien Priest and his family. Damien Priest says he's he's from the streets, but he just a loser from the streets. Finn Balor won't fight him, but someone will who has enjoyed earned it. Will Ernie, Will us, Will J D Madonna, uh, Will, I mean Finn Balor, will wait until Damien Priest feels safe, 
and comfortable until until he almost forgotten about him. When Damian Priest back this turn, Finn Balor will be there. We will be there to stab him and stab him in it again and again. It won't just be Finn Balor, JD Madonna, Carlito, and Dominic Mysterio, and Women's World Champion Lil Morgan. Um, Lil Morgan appear on the fame, on the fame, the new Judgment Day. All right, Damian Priest is all right in the ring before angrily heading to the back. That was a good segment by Damian Priest. The commentators break down what just happened. Pat McAfee then hilariously breaks down a segment of him sp- spitting water with Triple H. He then showcased a feeble, fe- feeble uh, attempt from Michael Cole. That part was fun. I love that. That was funny. Raw General Manager Office Adam Pierce. Why General Manager Adam Pierce is on the phone when Big Bronson Reed comes into his office. Big Bronson Reed is not happy. It's not happy that he didn't get a piece of Seamus tonight. Um Bronson Reed says there there is always an excuse with Adam Pierce. Bronson Reed sees if he wants to get to the top. He he has to sub he has to create his own path. Bronson Reed walks off. Alright. So we get Laura Rakira versus Shayna Baszler coming by Sonya Deville and Zoe Starks. And this match right here, this was a, you know, this match right here was squash, squash match. Laura Rakira is alone. Kaden Carter is banged up. Selena Vega has an injured arm. And Kiana and, Kiana and Katana Chance has her nose broken. Uh, following the following the 0360. Last last week on Raw. Alright, it says the bell rings and Shanna Basil quickly takes it to Lara Vakira attacking the left arm. Shanna Basil stops and stretches it before Vakira fights back. Vakira hits a pair of close eyes before connecting with a big big strike combination. Shanna Basil blocks a step up in security and goes for an ankle lock. But Vakira gets out of it. Lara Vakira hits hits an impress impress Impressive gut wrench into a sit up powerbomb for a two count. Lara Rakira heads to the top rope, but Zoe Starks gets on the apron. Lara Rakira kicks Zoe Starks and jumps over Shanna Baszler, tweaking her knee. Lara Rakira baseball slides Shanna Sonya Deville down. Um, Shanna Baszler goes for a Kafuda car- clutch, but Lara Rakira fights out. Um, Lara Rakira hits the night wing and covers, but but Sonya Deville and Zoe Starks breaks it up. The winner by disqualification, Lara Vakira. That that was a squash match. Damage Control quickly runs down to the ring and make the save. They brawl with Zoe Starks, Sonya Deville, and Shanna Baser before clearing the clearing them from the ring. All right. Um. Super quick match with Lara Vakira and Shanna Baser. Deep. These matches are either not given any time or put a sport that is a dead zone in a car on a card. It's hard to get invested in anything they they or their team are doing. Alright, let's move on. Video package. Karen Cross is backstage with the fi- with fi- with the final testament. Karen Cross says the doomsday clock strikes midnight on Raw. The artists of pain will put the end to a team that has stood, team ha, team has stood in the te, in the test of test of time for ten years. Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods have been pillars in this because because uh, it has been pillar in this business. Um, ushering in the power of positivity. Unfortunately, all good things must come to an end. Karen Cross laughs and says, "It is tragic." The real tragedy get is getting is it is it didn't have to be this way for his era was Kingston carved out carved out his own path and become the man if there was too afraid to become his own man. History will remember um uh, as there was as there was as a man started standing next to the man. So so it's bad. I'm not bad. I'm sorry. It's so sad 
but it didn't have to be this way for as ever it was. Karen Cross gave him many opportunities, more than he had, has been given. If there was, choose his fate and will stand with Kobe Kingston. Um, he'll he'll share Kobe Kingston's fate when he when when we witness the death of the new day. So aside side of the final testament. All right, let's move on. Backstage segment: CM Punk is showing walking backstage. He addressed his loss to Drew McIntyre next commercial break. Video hot, video package: more of the major headlines coming out of WWE SummerSlam. Backstage segment. Ivy Knight is backstage take, talking with Brut- Brutus and Julius Creed. Maxine Dupree comes up and the Creed brothers walk away. Maxine Dupree says she hasn't seen Ivy Knight in weeks and now she's hanging out with the Creed brothers who have viciously attacked Otis and Akira Tozoa. Ivy Knight says the boys are passionate. Chad Gable walks, walks up and, and wants to know what is going on. Chad Gable cuts Ivy Knight off and says Dupree has nothing has nothing of value to offer. Maxine Dupree can't keep the Alpha Academy name. He done with he's done with them. They take place down they take place down the Y six in the main they take down the Y six in the main event. Um Chad Gable walks off with Ivy Knight. See 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 this See this in fury. All right. CM Punk addressed his loss to Drew McIntyre and Drew McIntyre at SummerSlam. This was a pretty cool segment. CM Punk music hits in the crowd. You are CM Punk look excited to be there. A loud CM Punk chant picks up. CM Punk says people must be wondering why he's smiling. And, and he's so happy. CM Punk puts over... Uh, Bella Maha, Muhammad, 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 his former teammate who won the UFC welterweight championship at UFC 304. CM Punk loves watching hard work pays off. All right, it says, um, so why is CM Punk happy? He lost on Saturday at SummerSlam. CM Punk said he would do things that he wouldn't do. This is why he's happy. He hasn't been in Baltimore in over 10 years. The crowd cheers. It, fe- it feeds. Hold on. It says it feeds the ego when he comes out and 10 million, 10,000 people are screaming his name at him. Another loud CM Punk champ fires up. That makes him happy. Losing doesn't make him happy. Um, But SummerSlam wasn't a guarantee. Here go. Baltimore on Monday night wasn't a guarantee. A lot of people in the crowd love him because every time he gets knocked down, he gets back up. There are people who who hate him and hate him in the company because he won't stay down. Uh, when he says SummerSlam wasn't a guarantee, he was hurt and he said he was hurt January. Just when he well, he came back and had the momentum return. He was told nine months. Sam Punk is proud of himself for one of the first times he in his life. Then he says nine months, and he did it in five. There, there's a big, there's a big bad man in Drew McIntyre who hurt him. That happened still. He he gloated. I mean, he says he gloated. Um. He says that 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 happens. Still, he gloated about it and prayed for it. Yeah, prayed for it. Put him on a shirt and told lies about Sam Punk. Why? Why is he happy? He lost to Drew McIntyre. Sam Punk is back. SummerSlam was the start. People rose to WrestleMania usually starts in January at the Royal Rumble. Sam Punk starts on Saturday. Sam Punk was work over the bottom. And work his way to walk his way all the way to the top. Where were where would he be if it wasn't for the fans? Where would he be if he stayed down the last time he lost his state championship? Which is facts by CM Punk. CM Punk's summer of hate didn't start the way he predicted, but 
it's still summer. CM Punk State says this packed house, this packed house of beautiful people deserves glass CM Punk. Talk, talking and talking and more CM Punk. CM Punk fighting. CM Punk wants around wants round two with Drew McIntyre. Drew McIntyre said he would put him put him in the ground, but he, he's still standing. Alright. So we get um so we get burnt. So we get burned it down. Seth freaking Wallace makes his way to the ring and out and out feel more toned down from his usual get up. Seth Rollins doesn't get in the ring and looks at CM Punk from the ringside area. Seth Rollins takes his jacket off and looks ready to fight. The crowd continues to sing Seth Rollins theme song. Seth Rollins takes a microphone out of his back pocket and says, "You're in a good mood." Well, so I am, so am I. Because after ten long years, it's it is finally time for me to put you in the dirt. Servants go goes to get in the ring, but CM Punk stands in his way. Um, stands in his stands in his um way. Servants asks if he's going to get him in the ring. CM Punk says he didn't dress like a cowboy like Servants, but he'll be. His Huckleberry, CM Punk prepares to fight. Drew Mc, he says Drew McIntyre shout, shouts at them from the crowd. Drew McIntyre asks, "What is with all the negativity tonight? Is a night of celebration. Everyone is taking up, uh, talking about the biggest match at SummerSlam when Drew McIntyre defeated CM Punk and Seth Rollins. Freaking Miles counted, counted one, two, three. McIntyre tells CM Punk to pay attention because he's going to talk about CM Punk's favorite subject. It says right here, CM Punk shocks the world on Saturday and show his, so he still got it. CM Punk is no longer the best in the world. Drew McIntyre is. CM Punk and Seth Rollins haven't, haven't taken their eyes off each other. Each other. Drew McIntyre knows how to get get the attention. Drew McIntyre holds up CM Punk's bracelet and says, "His stupid dog Larry and his lovely wife AJ are are in his corner." CM Punk has heard enough and basically charging the charging charging the crowd to get to get McIntyre. McIntyre runs off. All right, let's move on. Seth freaking wa- Seth Rollins watches what just happened. Before turning into an avalanche from Big Bronson Reed. Big Bronson Reed takes it to Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins fights back and suffocates him before hitting a big boot. But Big Bronson Reed go- doesn't go down. Seth Rollins catches, has, Bronson Reed crushes Rollins with a death body driver and connects with two Santon splashes. Bronson Reed positions Seth Rollins and heads to the tower road for a tsunami. Bronson Reed is, isn't satisfied and heads back to the tower road for another. Second tsunami. Seth Rollins is better in pain on the mat as WWE officials, trainers, and referees run down to check on check on Seth Rollins. Seth, Seth Rollins, Big Bronson Reed goes to walk off, but he charges back and goes back to the top row. Bronson Reed annihilates him with a third stu- with a third tsunami. The crowd is going wild. Bronson Reed has back. To the top row for tsunami. Seth Rollins is gasping for air. Big Bronson Reed goes back to the top row again for his fifth tsunami. Unreal. Bronson Reed goes back up the goes back to the top row, and the crowd explodes. Bronson Reed doesn't go for a sixth tsunami. Instead, he pulls Bronson Reed, then steps on the top row and connects with a sixth tsunami. Unbelievable. The crowd is chanting one more time. Seth Rollins is coughing up blood. Bronson Reed finally leaves the ring. So, Big Bronson Reed hit six tsunamis on Seth Rollins. And, and, and please, we need that architect, architect Seth, 2016 Seth Rollins back. And I want Seth Rollins to get his get back against, against Bronson Reed. That's all I got to say. So, please, Seth Rollins, get your get, get your get back on Big Bronson Reed. We need that 2016 Architect Seth freaking Rollins in 2016. We need that. To, we need that 2016 Seth Rollins back. The architect. 
Seth Rollins from 2016. All right, let's move on. Seth, Seth Rollins is coughing up blood and looks to be in rough shape. All of a sudden, the crowd yours as Vasari heads to the ramp and back to the top, top rope. Vasari wants a savage tsunami, but the trainers and officials quickly roll Seth Rollins to the apron to, to save him. Well, Big Bronson walks off. Unreal star making segment for Big Bronson Reed. It's finally happened. They gave him an unbelievable angle to get him over. Phenomenal stuff. Who have done, I'm not, it says who have thought that in a segment had, segment that had a very good CM Punk, Seth Rollins, and Drew McIntyre promo. Bronson Reed would be a, would be, Bronson Reed would be the star. Hashtag WWE. When it comes to WWE, WWE knows how to knows what they're doing with their storytelling. WWE knows how to tell a story. That's all I gotta say. And that is facts. Alright, so we go to commercial break. We play a vicious beatdown of Seth Freaking Rollins by B. Bronson Reed communicating with six tsunamis is showing. Seth Rollins was coughing up blood. And I hope Seth Rollins gets his get back on B. Bronson Reed. When it comes to WWE, WWE knows how to tell it knows what it, knows what they're doing with their storytelling. WWE knows how to tell a story. And that is facts one thousand percent. Alright, let's move on. Backstage interview. Jackie Redman is backstage with Jer- Raw General Manager Adam Pierce. She asks about Seth Freaking Wild's injuries. Adam Pierce says it's too soon to tell, but there is potential for inter inter bleeding, so they're they're taking him to the hospital. We're here from CM Punk, shot in from Drew McIntyre. So Adam Pierce runs over to him. Adam Pierce says he walked Drew McIntyre out of the arena, so so he's gone. CM Punk is not pleased. All right, let's move on. Uh, yeah, yeah, let's move on. All right, come on, come on, let's move on. There we go. Where was I? It says, um, all right. So we get a tag team match. Arthur Sapain, Acam, and Rezar are coming by the final testament. Karen Claus and Paul Ellering and Scarlet versus the New Day, Xavier Woods and Kobe Kingston and Xavier Woods. And this match right here, this was, um, this was a, um, this was a decent six man tag team match. This was like decent. This was decent. Kofi Kingston is starting in the match against Akam. Kingston charges at him and punches away at him in the corner. Akam puts puts the brakes on a whip and sends Kingston to the opposite corner. But Kingston springboards off the ropes with a axe handle. Kingston hits the ropes and does a close line before avoiding offense from Rizar. Kingston super kicks Rizar before turning. Turning into a nasty spine spine buster for Macam. Rezar tags in and punches away at Kingston. It says commercial. So we go to commercial break. Back from commercial break, Rezar continues to take it to Kingston and throws him out of the ring. Rezar distracts the referee as Karen Cross gets a cheap shot in on Kingston. Xavier Wills takes expectation that to that. Rezar puts Kofi Kingston back in the ring and clubs him. Rezar puts him in the corner and tags in, tags that came in. Arthur Sapain hits double team stomps on Kofi Kingston in the corner. A Cam wraps Kofi Kingston's wraps Kofi Kingston's recently heel shoulder, which is he- heel heavily taped around the middle rope and pulls on it. A Cam punches Kingston in the head and hits an exploder suplex. Akam chose Kingston on the middle rope until the referee b- backs him up. Karrion Cross gets another cheap shot on cheap shot in on Kingston. Rezar tags in and attacks Kingston in mix section. Rezar then stretches out the shoulder. Kofi Kingston fights fights up and reaches reaches for a tag, but a tag, but Rezar stops him. Um, Rezar sends Kingston to the ropes and hits a fallaway slam. Rezar shatters around the ring and tags a camp and tags back tags a camp back in. All right, it says back. 
It says back from the break. A Cam close close Kingston. A Cam puts Kingston on the top rope and punches him. Kingston's punch Kingston punches him back and dives off with a tornado DT. Xavier was a resort attacking. Xavier was ducks a pair of clotheslines and slides through leg through the legs before hit, hitting a disgust forearm to the jaw. Xavier was punches away at Rezar until he pushes off. Rezar sends him to the corner, but Xavier was hit, boots him back and hits a super kick. Um, Xavier Woods super kicks a count for a good measure. Rezar quickly tackles Xavier Woods to the corner and puts him on the top rope. Xavier Woods fights him off with head buzz and flies off the top rope. With a missile drop kick, a cam runs in, but Xavier Woods pulls the top rope down to get him out of the ring. Kingston stands on the top rope and hits a cam with a third spot, trust fall. Kingston wipes out a huge way that looks nasty. That As the referee checks on Kingston, Karen Cross knocks Xavier Woods off the top rope. All of a sudden, Ozzy, Oz, Ozzy Jones comes down the rim and attacks Karen Cross, sending him into the ring apron before sending him into the into the crowd. Xavier Woods rolls Rezar up for the win. The winner by pinfall, the new day. This was a decent six man tag team match. A Cam and Rezar immediately double team Xavier Woods, so Adonsi Jones gets in the ring. Adonsi Jones runs over A Cam and Rezar before Avalanche is down. A yeah, Avalanche, Avalanche is down. Both, both, and drops them with dual sidewalk slams. Wow! Karen Cross gets in the ring and rocks Adonsi Jones with a forearm. Karen Cross hits the ropes, but Adonsi Jones flattens him with a boss man slam. Adonsi Jones celebrates with the new day. So they replace Biggie with Adonsi Jones. So that's all I gotta say. I also have, I also happy to see Adonsi Jones in W in, on Monday Night Raw. All right, let's move on. Is it's a little bit of a bummer. I'm sure Adonis Jones is a great guy. But the signals to me, at least, that Big E will never return again. The New Day needs a, needs a Big E type guy. Adonis Jones is that for sure. But it signals what we all fear Big E's career is officially officially over. Hashtag WWE Raw. It says, to be clear... I'm not complaining about Big E's career being over. If that's what is best for his health, I'm I'm all I'm all for it. Deep down I was hoping he would somehow recover one hundred percent and get one last get one get one last run, but that doesn't appear to be the case as long as as he's healthy, long live Big E. We all miss Big E in WWE. And that's all I have to say. His career I don't know why Big E's career is over, so we all miss Big E. So I'm keeping my prayers in Big E. That's all I got to say. All right, let's move on. Video Packers World Tag Team Champion J.D. Madonna says his favorite partner of SummerSlam was watching Damian Priest's face when Finn Balor betrayed him. Damian Priest didn't realize that he was only champion because the judgment they allowed it. J.D. Madonna sacrificed his body to keep Damian Priest on top. Damian Priest never wanted JD, JD Madonna in the Judgment Day because he knew that he was the only person on this plan that Finn Balor would listen to above him. JD Madonna has his revenge because Damian Priest is out of the, the Judgment Day and he is in. Um, JD Madonna is a champion and Damian Priest has nothing. Tonight, Damian Priest will rise for the Judgment Day. Oh, J. Oh, um, Damian Priest is about to cook J. J. D. Madonna. That's that's light work. But anyway, a town down under make their way to the ring. They'll face the awesome truth next on commercial break. What is a town down under doing on Monday Night Raw? I don't know. It doesn't make sense, man. It says WWE Survivor Series War Games is coming to Vancouver on Saturday, November thirtieth. Oh, I cannot wait for War Games. So WWE Survivor Series War Games is coming to Vancouver on Saturday, November November 30th. Oh, I'm so hyped for that pay-per-view. I'm so hyped. And so Reeves is going to be live streaming on TikTok for that, too. Oh, I, oh, I saw it. I cannot wait, man. I can't wait. All right, let's move on. It says, 
Replay moments ago, Audacity Jones showed up to help the New Day and signal and single and heart handily manhandle the authors of pain and carrying cross. All right, let's move on. It says backstage segment. The New Day is celebrating with Audacity Jones. Audacity Jones says he was honored to help out the New Day. Kobe Kinson introduced Audacity Jones to Xavier Woods. Xavier Woods looks a little taken back, taken back because he didn't know Adelsi Jones was coming out. Adelsi Jones says he spoke with Kobe Kinsa about their problems with the final testament. Otis, Maxine Dupree, and Akira Tozoa showed up to celebrate. Akira Tozoa does his nasty dance and was joins in. That part was funny, man. That That is so funny, man. Alright, let's move on. Backstage segment was funny. Alright. Replay this past Saturday at SummerSlam, A Town Down Under interrupted the Miz and our truth before insulting Jelly Roll. Jelly Roll took them out with a steel chair and gave Austin Three a huge choke slam with one hand. Jelly Roll and Jelly Roll Miz and our truth then hit Austin Three with a fifteen with a five knuckle shuffle. Wow. Let's move on. So we get a tag team match, A Town Down Under. Austin Theory and Grayson Waller versus the Awesome Truth, The Miz, and Our Truth. And this tag team match right here, this was a solid tag team match. And that's all I have to say. Our Truth starts against Austin Theory, putting him and put him in a side headlock. Grayson Waller tags in, but Our Truth gives him a back body drop before sending a tag down under flying with a double head scissor takeover. The Awesome Truth dominates a tag down under. Knocking them out of the ring. All right, so we go to commercial break. But, uh, we will we return from the break to see our truth grab the bottom rope to break up a pan from Grayson Waller. Theory tags in and they go and they go for a double drop kick, but our truth avoids it. Theory quickly takes our truth down, but our truth soon gets away. The Miz tags in and hits three and Grayson Waller with a clothesline. Miz ducks a double clothesline and hits them with a double flapjack. Um, Miz starts up with the it kick to Grayson Waller and Theory. Miz follows up with a double basement drop kick. Miz hits Grayson Waller with a baseball slide before hitting Austin Theory with a plancha. The crowd is going. It says the crowd is going wild. Miz gets gets Theory in the ring and rolls him up for a two count. Miz kicks him in the knee. It hits a knee DT for another two count. Miz goes for a well, goes for a skull crusher finale, but Theory gets out. Miz, hit, I'm sorry, Miz kicks away at Theory and backs up to hit his patented corner coastline. Miz hits a Miz, Miz hits a cross cross body block and covers by our truth blind tags and Miz cannot believe it's our truth grabs Grayson Wild who wasn't. The legal man for an add to adjustment. Had, as he spins around with Grayson Waller's leg, hits Miz um, in the head and takes him out. R2 hits the AA. Austin 3 then hits R2. The A Town down for the win. It says the winner of the winner by pinfalls, A Town down Austin Theory and Grayson Waller, A Town down under. That was a solid tag team match. The Miz is not happy and asks our truth what was he, what what he was thinking. Miz then embraced him in the ring. It looks like they are going to start teasing a breakup with the, with the Miz and our truth. Our truth and tactics have caused this team greatly for a while. Hashtag WWE Raw. All right, let's move on. Video package. Damian Priest says the beating JD Madonna is going to receive a long time coming. Damian Priest didn't want JD Madonna in the judgment day. No one didn't expect the one guy he thought was his brother until Saturday. With such a big head, JD Madonna is too stupid to realize he already been betrayed. Finn Balor is giving him to Damian Priest to fire the first bullet. Damian Priest hopes JD Madonna confess his sin. Yesterday, because he's thinking he's taking his big head, you know what, out. Damian Priest was spitting bars right there. It says in the arena, World Tag Team Champion JD Madonna makes his entrance alongside Carlito. JD Madonna will face Damian Priest next. So we'll go to commercial break. 
WWE had over 580 million social media views doing WWE SummerSlam, making it the most social SummerSlam ever. So congratulations to WWE about that. Video package. Earlier tonight, World Heavyweight Champion Gunther agreed to a title match with Randy Orton at Bash in Berlin. So that's going to be Randy Orton versus Gunther for the World Heavyweight Championship Part 2. So we're going to get a Part 2 about that, and I'm hyped for that. Randy Orton will go for his 14th World World Championship at Bash in Berlin against Gunther for the World Heavyweight Championship. I cannot wait for that pay-per-view as well, too. So we'll go to backstage interview. Kathy Kelly asked the new WWE Intercontinental Champion, Ron Breaker, if he is already for the outlaw of Superstar coming after him. Ron Breaker says it's taking him less than three years to become the new Intercontinental Champion, which I was happy that Ron Breaker won the Intercontinental Championship at SummerSlam this past Saturday. Um, World Heavyweight Champion. Ron Breaker is, is the hunter in the locker room, which is fact. Which is fast is the hunted. What idiots think they have the courage to take this from him? Nobody. Braun Breaker feels sorry for them. A lot of people think Braun Breaker was born for this moment. This championship was born for him. Braun Breaker shows off his nameplate on the title. That is his name bloated onto his championship. There isn't a man or on the planet that can take his name off his title, the Crown of Sparks. That that's fast by Brian Breaker. So I like that by Brian Breaker. So let's move on. So we get the World Tag Team Champion JD Madonna coming about Kalita versus Damian Priest. And this match right here, I ain't gonna care. This match right here, this was um this match was good too. Alright, the bell rings and Damian Priest goes after him. J.D. Madonna ducks and slaps him in the face. That angers Damian Priest. J.D. Madonna chops him, but Damian Priest doesn't see it. Damian Priest soon big boots. J.D. Madonna and hits his big head. Damian Priest punches away at J.D. Madonna in the corner before stomping him down. Damian Priest white whips J.D. Madonna into the corner before hitting a big flapjack. Damian Priest viciously forearms J.D. Madonna in the mouth. Damian Priest whips J.D. Madonna in the ropes. But he lowers his head and eats a kick. Damien Priest just stands up and punches him in the face. Damien Priest gets gets the crowd going and going and goes for an avalanche. JD, JD Madonna avoids it. Um, JD Madonna shoulders away at Damien Priest's midsection and forearms him down. Um, JD Madonna hits a basement draw kick in the corner. The crowd's chance. JD sucks. Um, JD Madonna stomps Damien Priest's hand and slaps him. It says, uh, and, um, it says slap sound. Where was I at? Hold on, give me a second. Give me a second. Give me, give me, um, second, um. Yeah, yeah, just give me a second. It says it right here. Hold on, just give me a second. Give me a second. Where was I? Hold on, let me go back, Chad. Let me go back. Give me, give me, just give me one second. Hold on. I almost got it. I almost got it, chat. I almost got it. It says right here. So we get Damian Priest. Let me start. It says Damian Priest with Jamie Madonna. I'm coming back clear. This was a good match. Damian, I mean, J- JD Madonna slash Damian Priest. Damian Priest eventually floors J- um, JD Madonna with a big boot. Damian Priest stomps JD Madonna in the corner. But face paint by Damian Priest. J.D. Madonna fires back and catches Damian Priest with a double knee strike. Damian Priest sends J.D. Madonna out of the ring. Damian Priest picks up J.D. Madonna to drive him into the ring post. J.D. Madonna counters and sends Damian Priest into the post. Um, Damian Priest clutches at his previously injured chest. Suicide down by J.D. Madonna. After the break, Damian Priest tries, uh, tries south of heaven. JD Madonna black flips out of it and lands a neck and uh, lands a headbutt. Top rope moonsault by JD Madonna. Damian Priest kicks out. Damian Priest fires up and hits the broken arrow. JD Madonna ends up outside. Um Damian Priest sends JD Madonna flying over the announcer desk. Damian Priest sends Damian Damian Priest sends JD Madonna back in the ring. Carlito gets gets on the apron 
Damian Priest boosts Carlito back in the back to the floor. Damian Priest calls for a south of heaven. Finn Balor appears and attacks Damian Priest, causing a disqualification. The winner by disqualification, Damian Priest. All right, let's move on. Don't mess with the Terror, terror Twins. All right, it says, after the match, the new Judgment Day attacks Damian Priest. Damian Priest blows up and clears the ring of everyone but but, but Finn Balor. Finn Balor tr tries to run away. Damian Priest grabs Damian Damian Priest grabs Finn Balor and sets up the Rachel's edge. Lil Morgan pulls Dam Finn Balor off of Damian Priest's shoulders. Lil Morgan and Dominic stomps um, Damian Priest. Rhea Ripley music hits. Lil Morgan and Dominic Mysterio try to run, but Rhea Ripley catches Lil Morgan and sends her to the ring post. Rhea Ripley sets up a table. Um, Powerbomb sets up a table, but Rhea Ripley catches Lil Morgan and sends her into the ring post. Rhea Ripley sets up a table powerbomb for Lil Morgan, but Dominic Mysterio pulls Lil Morgan away. J.D. Madonna is left in the ring. Rhea Ripley headbutts J.D. Madonna with a, into a sample of heaven from Damian Priest. All right, it says, hashtag, it says, oh, come on, hashtag WWE Raw. All right, so, yeah, in ring segment, Sonya Deville, Sonya, yeah, Sonya Deville, Zoe starts and Shayna Baszler. Sonya Deville says, this seems to call Kai isn't going to make it tonight. Il Sky music hit. Il Sky is taking Dakota Kai's place. So we get Sonya Deville coming by Zoe Stars and Shayna Baszler versus Il Sky coming by Kari Zayn. And this match right here, this was was a decent match. This was decent. Il Sky sends Sonya Deville tumbling out of the ring after a head scissors. Il Scott takes a moment to drop kick Zoe Stars through the ropes. Sonya Deville sends Il Scott into the ring. Ring steps after the break. Sonya Deville works over Il Scott. Sonya Deville misses a spear in the corner and gets posted. Gets posted. Dragon screw by Il Scott. Il Scott follows that with a drop kick before Sonya Deville gather herself. Il Scott hits a missile drop kick off the top. Sonya Deville kicks out. Sonya Deville surprised Il Scott with their running knee. Il Scott kicks out, rolled through, stomped by Il Scott, bullet train attack by Il Scott. And Zoe started pull Sonya Deville foot on the bottom rope to break up the pin. Kairi Zane attacks. Zoe starts outside the ring. Shayna Baszler tries to get involved, but Il Scott lands a drop kick through the ropes. Il Scott, Il Scott lands a moonsault while Kairi Zane lands in his same elbow out on the floor. Over the moon saw by Il Scott. Il Scott pins Sonya Deville. The winner of the match, Il Scott. This was a decent match. But I got a question for everybody. Where is Asuka at? That's all I got to say. Where is Asuka at? Somebody tell me down below in the comment section. Where is Asuka at? All right, let's move on. Sami Zayn is... Sami Zayn as double champion. Question mark. Jay Uso had a goal on the, goal on the mind of him, for him. And, and, and Sami Zayn, hashtag WWE Raw. All right. They thought the, they thought they could control you. So hashtag WWE Raw. All right. It says, um, WWE Chad Gable and the Kree Brothers are ready for the Riot 6, hashtag WWE Raw. All right. So we get the main event of the evening. So we get America made Chad Gable and the Kree Brothers versus the Riot 6. And this match right here, this was fantastic. This this six man tag team main event was fun. But RIP to Bray Wyatt. I know that Bray Wyatt is smiling at at um Uncle AKA Bo Dallas right now. So AKA Bo Dallas Uncle Howdy. Bo, um, Bray Wyatt is smiling at Uncle Howdy right now. Cause Bray Wyatt loves this match. I love this match as well too. All right, it says Uncle Howdy and Ab and Abby the Witch. Sit at ringside and Dex and Loomis, um, G Joe Gacy and Eric Rowan rush the ring and, and clears it. As the bell rings, D Loomis and Julius start the match. Loomis runs over Julius and hits a pop-up spine, spine buster. Loomis lands several leg drops before attacking in Joe Gacy. Joe Gacy lands a few strikes and, and a double team and with um, Dex and Loomis. Chad Gable pulls Dex Loomis' hair as he hits the ropes. Eric Rowan has seen enough and rushes rushes the ring. Eric Rowan used Julius Creed as a weapon before slamming him on Brutus, Brutus Creed. 
Joe Gacy followed that with a senton to both men. The wide six cleared the ring. Eric Rowe powerbombed Loomis over the top onto American May. After the break, American May is taking turns working over Joe Gacy. Joe Gacy surprised Jules Creed and Brothers Creed with a double up with a double upside down. Joe Gacy managed to tag in Eric Rowan. Eric, Eric, Eric Rowan clears the ring. Eric Rowan plays tribute to Bodie Lee. I like that by Eric Rowan. Um, Eric Rowan pays tribute to Bodie Lee with the slingshot press. Oh, I love that by Eric Rowan. The Cree brothers break up the pen and drag Joe Gacy out of the ring. As the Cree brothers beat down Joe, beat down Joe Gacy at ringside, Dexter Loomis dives off the top with a leg drop to break it up. Chad Gable German suplexes Eric Rowan. Eric Rowan kicks out. Chad Gable looks for the Creed brother Cree brothers outside the ring for help. Dexter Loomis and Joe Gacy Uranus suplex Brutus Brutus and Julius Creed onto the commentary desk. Joe Gacy power bombs Dexter Loomis onto Gabe onto Chad Gable. Loomis hits a splash off the top with an assist from Eric Rowan for the win. The winner of the match, the Wyatt Six. That that six man tag match was fantastic. That was a good match. But and that's all I gotta say. WWE WWE Raw goes off the air. All right, let me give my honest opinion of what I think about WWE Raw. Now WWE Raw was a fantastic W show. W show ten out of ten. Fantastic W show ten out of ten. It was a good show for what it was. But anyway, when it comes to WWE, they know how to tell a good storytelling. That's all I gotta say from here. But anyway, if you guys enjoy my WWE Raw review on House, please give this video a big fat thumbs up. Comment down below what are your thoughts on WWE Raw because it was a fantastic W show 10 out of 10. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys please go watch the video, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel because I'm only one away from 6K subscribers. Follow my social media down below in the description. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for my WWE NXT American uh, for my WWE NXT Great American Bash review on highlights. Um, that's all I gotta say. I want you guys to have a great night and stay safe and always be positive. Camp G crew, Camp G Kings, Camp G Club, too sweet. I'm out of here. Gang. Mwah. Bang. Too sweet. Gang. And I'll make a YouTube short video after the YouTube short video next. And that's all I gotta say from here. Have a great night and stay safe and always stay positive. Camp G crew, Camp G Kings, Camp G Club, too sweet. I'm out of here. Gang. And make sure you guys stay positive. Don't let the don't let nobody tell you different because I always got your back and support. Just like you guys got my back and support. Because at the end of the day, it's just too sweet. Have a great night, guys. And I'll see you guys later.